In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Unity events and how they can help improve your workflow. So to get started, I'm just going to create a simple trigger object. I'm just going to make this just a 3D cube. Uh, I'm going to move it up just a tad bit. And I'm just going to put it like over here somewhere. And then just use the scale tool to just scale it up a little bit. And then I'm probably just to make it thin. So this will act as just a simple trigger for our event system. It's just going to call a simple event and it will enable an object. So I'm also going to make it a cylinder and just move it over here like this. And whenever the player walks into this trigger, it calls a unity event, disabling this object here. So the first thing we need to do is create a script. It's just going to be a C sharp script and I can call this just like trigger event system like that open it up in visual studio code okay now that that's open we can remove the start and update functions and we need to import something we need to import unity engine dot events for some reason it's not autofilling it's just called events and we need to create a public unity event and we can just call this something like on trigger event or something and I can just create a function on trigger enter and I can just say on on triggered enter event a question mark dot and then we can just say invoke. So what this is doing is it's calling this on triggered event, it's getting a reference to it. This question mark checks to see if it's null, and if it's not null, it invokes this function, which is pretty much just executing the event. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, for some reason it opened up another window okay unity is compiling and then on our cube i'm just going to attach this and then on our triggered event i'm just going to add the cylinder in here and then go to game object and then set active and then just set it active to false and then make the collider a trigger and then we can save that run it and we can see that our cylinder is enabled and once we collide with it it disables the cylinder so this is all good, but why can't we just hold a reference to the trigger on the cylinder? Well, that is a good question, and it is simply just because it is easier if we just reference the object in the editor and then handle all the actions. Unity handles all the actions itself instead of us creating just like a reference to it and then just sending it active. This gives us a lot more customizability, and it also ensures we can change things later down the line without having to jump into the code. So if you found this short video informative, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. It always helps out the channel and helps get content like this recommended to others. Fun Uber, out.